Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody stop what you're doing right now. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Don't touch another. Don't do another public event. Don't open another chest. Stop everything because everyone is looting wrong right now. So, hello, people. It's King Dove 7 and I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you get the best exotics you possibly can, the best legendary weapons you possibly can. So, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go go to the Eververse thing and go get yourself a fire team medallion read what the fire team medallion does it increases experience bonuses or increases experience that you get and increases loot that you get for four hours and they cost 50 uh bright dust or whatever that's called no, I know a lot of you saying, no, King Dub, I don't have money to spend silver on Bright Dust and blah, blah, blah. You don't need to buy any microtransactions to get Bright Dust. All you need to do is break down some of the useless stuff that you have, like some of the ghosts that you don't use or some of the ships that you don't use. All you need to do is break that stuff down, right? And you get like 100 free Bright Dust. 100 free bite Bright Dust can buy you up to 2 fire team medallions two fire team medallions could get you an unthinkable amount of legendaries and exotic weapons so please 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 stop uh, grinding for loot without a fire team medallion do that for me also though I have some other news for you so as we all know the raid will be out later today the light level the recommended light level or the lowest amount of light level that you can be for the raid is 260 it says that the raid light level has a range of 260 from 280 now I am not a hundred percent sure but this is the first time Dusty in a series has ever talked about having a range of light level from 260 to 280 that's the range it says so I was thinking, is it possible that you can't do a raid unless you have a light level under 280? That would be interesting. I don't know how I would feel about that, but I could quite possibly just be wrong and 280 could just be the recommended light level. And, or like 260 or 280 range could be the recommended light level. Also, apparently it has been confirmed that Destiny 2's first DLC will be Curse of Osiris. As you continue your Guardian's journey with all new story missions and adventures set in a uh, new destination, Mercury. Journey through time and space to learn the secrets of Osiris, avert a dark future, and reveal, rebuild ties between the legendary warlock and his greatest student, Ikora Ray. So I am not 100% sure what that all means, but that's what the special description of the DLC was. But what I do know is Osiris is who the Trials of Osiris are named after. He was a very strong warlock in the past, quite possibly maybe the strongest warlock that we can think of. And he was also the teacher of Ikor Ray, as it was said in the description. The DLC is supposed to be uh, set in Mercury. Now this is weird because if you paid attention to the story in Destiny 2, you realize that Mercury was being ripped apart and being fed as fuel to uh, Commander Gaul's ship. So it's going to be super weird to think about or to understand what's going to be going on in Mercury. I don't know what is going to happen, but here's are some of the things that's going to, uh, here's are some of the events I guess you could say we're going to be able to do in the new DLC. Explore Mercury in its mysterious and infinite forest. New story missions and adventures. New themed weapons, armor, and gear to earn. New cooperative activities. New competitive multiplayer arenas and more. I'm very interested about the and more thing. I really want to see the exotics and things like that. But then again, we haven't even seen the raid for Destiny 2 yet which again is set to take place very very soon later today so that's all the news I have for everyone please 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 listen to my advice and loot better raid better 
raid smarter, raid harder, or loot smarter, loot harder, because we haven't, well, raid two, but, uh, use those fire team medallions. Don't spend bright dust on things like ghosts and shaders unless you have a bunch of fire team medallions. Fire team medallions, I swear to you, I promise you, will make your life so much easier. That's a King Dub guarantee. This is King Dub 7 signing off. Peace.